There's three types of radioactive decay. Radioactive decay is when a very large nucleus will start to break down and parts of its nucleus kind of come unglued. The first type is alpha decay. This only happens with really large elements like uranium. And what comes out of the nucleus is essentially a helium nucleus made up of two neutrons and two protons, having a total mass of four. This is called the alpha particle. As you can see in the example below, uranium-238, which is atomic number 92, decays to release an alpha particle, which is a mass of four with two protons, and the remaining element, having a mass of 234, atomic number 90, which is thorium. Notice that both the superscript on the right and subscripts on the right add up to equal the mass and atomic number of the original element, uranium. In beta decay, there's a similar breakdown of the nucleus. Essentially, one neutron comes out of the previous element, which then degrades down into, essentially, an electron. This electron, having an atomic number of negative 1, has more of a subtractive effect on the equation. Look at the example. Thorium-234, atomic number 90, when it breaks down by beta decay, actually increases an atomic number to 91, since the beta particle has an atomic number of negative 1. Therefore, the sum of the atomic numbers on the right side of the equation, 91 plus negative 1, would equal the atomic number on the left side of the equation for thorium, 90. There's also gamma decay. We're not going to concern ourselves with the equations for gamma decay because it usually accompanies some other type of decay like alpha or beta. But just so you know, it does exist, and in gamma decay, we essentially get a form of electromagnetic radiation emanating from the decaying nucleus. So, this is a short recap on your lesson on nuclear decay.